Hello, this is the HatchetJob.com gaming netcast with an unboxing of the Sennheiser Game Zero headset. This is a refurbished headset from the Sennheiser outlet store online. Now you'll notice it's the Game Zero with G-A-M-E-Z-E-R-O. Now that's important because there's a previous model called the Game Zero and I think the A and the E were, uh, were numbers, so G4ME. Now the difference between that model and this one is that the previous model was, I think, 150 ohm impedance, which meant it required uh, a little bit of juice from the computer or the amplifier or the card to power it to get the best sound. Now, this one is different. This is only 50 ohms, I think that's the term. So it doesn't require as much power to get the best sound from it. And so this was designed specifically for kind of mobile users and uh, people plugging the headsets into game controllers. Also, this headset has uh, the Game Zero is closed, uh, is a closed headset, which means you can't hear as much uh, when you put it on. Other headsets have kind of gaps over here, so they let more of the room sound in. So this, this kind of headset will be better if you're playing in a noisy environment. But let's open it up now. It comes in this little cardboard box. Same details on the side. It's also collapsible, so you can fold it back up. And I have to say, for a refurbished headset, at least the box is looking really good. So here we go, da 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 da. So it comes in this hard carrying case, which is, is quite nice. And again, with a handle on top saying Sennheiser. Sennheiser actually make professional audio equipment. And I have a pair of Sennheiser studio monitor headphones that I use for the hatchetjob.com gaming netcasts, and they're really good quality. Um, but let's open it up here. Again, this is so nice. this is the microphone arm. It's flexible. Um, these headsets rotate and uh, adjust, of course. This looks like it's metal here. This this hinge, decent quality plastic ridges here. This all seems fine. Um, it has a cable which is detachable, so it can either plug into a PC connection like this or I think somewhere in here so if you uh, if you buy one of these this is the controller adapter specifically for a gaming headset and it's actually tucked in here so that's why you need to look if you get one because it is a bit confusing that you can't see one with the headphones and so uh, something else I should mention is that this microphone arm it has a mute button basically in the arm so when it's down you'll be able to speak and it's a noise cancelling microphone so you won't get the sound from other people when it's down, you'll be able to speak, but when you move it up, it clicks and it mutes. So that's how you mute it. And the other thing is that adapter cable for the controllers and mobile phones, it actually plugs into here. So when it comes, it comes with the PC cable in. You just pull it out gently, and then you plug the adapter cable in. Uh, and, then uh, and then you can see this Death Star-like dial on the side. That is actually the volume control. On previous headsets, I've had it at the back or on the cable. By the way, the cable here is braided, so it looks like it's decent quality, but that's the volume control, so that's a nice touch. Hi, this is an audio test of the Sennheiser Game Zero headset. Let's do a quick sibilance test. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. And a plosive test. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And I'm going to speak slightly loudly so that you can hear what it sounds like when it distorts. Oh my god, something exciting is happening in a video game. Oh my god, something exciting is happening in a video game. And I'm in a, a small room, curtains drawn, window open, and there's some traffic noise in the background, and, and planes and cars and things. So I'm going to stay silent, and you can just have a listen to any ambient noise. And of course, at that moment, all the traffic and the planes stopped. So that's what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to just talk about what it's like to use as an experience, um, but that's subjective. For the objective stuff, you've seen the unboxing, you've seen and heard me speaking. So anything else from now on is just my experience with it. Okay, good, let's go. Been using this for about two weeks. Uh, it doesn't have as much bass in the microphone or in the headphones that I'm used to going into Overwatch with it, everything sounded kind of flat and the people I was speaking to sounded kind of flat uh, because it didn't have the boom and the thump for explosions and that kind of stuff. Uh, but what I realized is 
it wasn't so much that they were sounding flat. This is both for the headphone and the microphone. It's that there was more detail than before. So the bass wasn't obscuring the tone and texture of the sounds I was hearing or the people I was speaking to. And actually, I don't know I don't know if this is something they patched in Overwatch. It might be something they patched because they put a patch out, patch out recently. But I was hearing sounds like um, beeps and whistles that I hadn't heard before in Overwatch. So I think the Sennheiser does a good job of bringing you all of the sound without colouring it too much with bass. And that's a personal preference thing. And that also applies to what you sound like. I wanted to sound like I was the voice of God or I was speaking to a hired microphone like they use in radio stations and I own one of those microphones so I know what they sound like. But I didn't. Instead, uh, to me I sound a bit high um, not quite as deep as I wanted, but I have to admit that the Sennheiser is bringing out the detail in my voice, in the mid-ranges, in the trebles, so that when you listen to my streams, you can hear more of what I sound like. Uh, you can hear more of the croaks and kind of uh, the fluctuations in how I speak, so I think it's more interesting to listen to, and it's more accurate. But whether that sound you want, I don't know. Um, don't assume that this is a because it's a two hundred pound headset or two hundred fifty dollar headset that it's going to sound remarkably different than a thirty dollar headset. It isn't. The changes you'll hear will be subtle ones, and it's in that subtlety, it's in that precision, I think, that the Sennheiser lives. Um, but that is going to be subjective to you, and so it's really important uh, that you listen to other examples of the Game Zero headset because all the examples I found on YouTube everybody sounded incredibly rich but I don't know what devices they were being plugged into I don't know if they're going into PCs or with really good sound cards I have no idea this is just this is being recorded on an iPad okay so that's kind of the level of quality that it's got so the Sennheiser isn't quite what I expected um, I'm I'm getting used to it. I quite like it now. I haven't been able to find the right balance between my volume and the microphone sensitivity because it peaks a bit too much. It distorts a bit too much. Uh, maybe that's because I'm used to speaking more loudly with other headphones and I can actually speak a lot less loudly now. Maybe I can actually almost whisper and speak like this. Um, but certainly if you want to start a stream or do YouTube videos where you're going to be... Um, effusive and excited and shouting and yelping and that kind of stuff uh, I think the Sennheiser would distort too much but that's something to bear in mind anyway this is the hatchetjob.com gaming netcast speaking to you on the Sennheiser Game Zero headset bought refurbished for £120 from Sennheiser